One issue that all nonprofits face is, is how to evaluate staff performance. That's a struggle, uh, particularly in the nonprofit sector, because we're not good at, at benchmark measurements often. In development, there's one thing I can tell you that you shouldn't do, and that is place primary emphasis on the dollars raised. That, that is clearly one measurement, no question. But the influence of a development person on dollars raised is only one of the, one of the factors. Uh, and so, but that is, eventually, that's, that's a, a long term, that's obviously an important issue. But in a given year, whether an annual fund is up 5% or down 5%, right. is gonna be influenced by many factors and the person running the annual fund is only, is only one. And also, as we've seen from these earlier reports, that, influ that increase in the annual fund, as, as uh, indicated by the, the uh, gift report chart that I provided, uh, can go up and down simply because of one gift, which may have come in and the person who that gift is counting towards had no relationship with it at all. Uh, so be real leery of looking at just that bottom mm -hmm. line figure. But there are things that you need to really keep your ears perked up with. And, and that is, you want to evaluate the person's performance in terms of what are the measurables that we can look at to see if they're going through the right processes for building the relationships and enhancing that partnership with the donor, which we've all agreed is one of those guiding principles that leads to success. I've, I've been in this work for 25 years and no one can tell me that partnership isn't the foundation for a strong development program. So there's that individual development person's relationship building and they're measurables for that. Uh, if for example somebody is in major gifts and they're expected to make 150 gifts a year, is, I mean, 150 visits a year, as an example. You want to look at that and say, are they visiting the same people over and over again? Or are they, are they having a mix mm -hmm. of cultivating relationships, but also bringing new people in the pipeline? Are we seeing patterns that are saying that these relationships are growing? Are gifts increasing? Uh, is the, the, the feedback that we're getting that we're getting the, the hum that we're getting when when people are out and in dialogue with those donors, are they enjoying those visits? Is this person really connecting in a meaningful way? Those are measurables that you can have, but I would stay away from any concept that if you have a target for 150 gifts, the person who does 160 is doing a better job than the person who did 145. Right. What I can tell you is if you have a target of of 150 and the person is doing 75 visits, uh, they're not out there enough to, to be having the impact because they're not seeing enough people. Again, in the context of 150, if that's the target that you're, that you're using. So there are ways of measuring an individual's performance. The area, quite frankly, though, that is often overlooked is not individual performance, but what is the impact of this person's performance on the ability of the rest of us to do our job? Uh, are they, in the context of the organization, do they empower other people to do their job? If I'm the chief development person and I have people working under me, a legitimate question to ask is, are they empowering me to do my job or are they always bringing me the problems and their problems come onto my plate. In other words, are they, are, they, are they lifting me up in such a way that I'm better at what I do? And if they are, they deserve some credit for that because they are enabling me to do a better job. And organizationally, you want everybody at each level to enable particularly the people above them. So if you're a vice president, you want to empower the president. You want things coming off of his or her plate in a way that enable them to focus on what you need them focused on. Uh, and that's the place that a lot of organizations fail. I've had a number of situations where uh, in conversations 
with development staff or with executive directors of organizations, uh, I've, I've asked the question, is this person, when, when you look at the problems, when you look at the things that drain you, when you come into the office, where is, it, where is this person on the plate? And I've had people sit back and, and say, they make it difficult to come in. And I'll look at that and I'll say, then you need to take that into account. Because regardless of that person's individual performance, if they are draining you and or they're draining other people in the organization, um, then regardless of how well they're doing, the benefit to the organization may be in jeopardy.